what's going on everybody um here to do a video today for y'all uh, on a 2007 crown vic police interceptor this particular one uh actually came out of a got an auto auction from uh, the city of rosenberg i uh, got a pretty good deal on it, it actually it was never uh, actually a law enforcement vehicle it actually belonged to a the fire chief of rosenberg it was his take-home ride so uh, it's pretty well babied pretty low miles uh, been been a pretty good great car so far but uh, I just want to give you all a quick video today on uh, installing remote keyless entry on this car. Because uh, it differs from the 2008-2011 year model police interceptors. Uh, because you are missing some hardware on this car that is already put into the 08 through 11s. So uh, the big thing you need, you will need, it's uh, located in the passenger side C-pillar on these cars, on the 08s through 11s, and as well as the Grand Marquis and the civilian police, or civilian Crown Vicks um, in the Lincoln Town cars, just located in the accessory tray in the trunk, I believe. Uh, don't, don't quote me on that. But it's an antenna that you need that is located back there in the C-pillar. And that antenna is critical. You need it for these key fobs, your transmitter, because without the antenna, when you transmit, there's nothing for the transmission uh, to get picked up by in order to unlock the doors or pop the trunk, whatever. So I'm going to show y'all how to how I wired this up, the parts you need, and all that uh, in order to make this remote keyless entry and uh, also remote trunk pop too while we're here. And that remote trunk pop will be the same for the 08 through 11 Crown Vix as well. Um, it's just this 07 that's going to be a little different. So, this is the antenna module I was telling you about. And it's, like I said, normally located in that rear C-pillar right there, that passenger side. And uh, that part number's right here. It's 6W7T-14B207-AC. Um, you do need that part. It's going to look just like this. you got to make sure either you find a connector, whether you rob it off of a parts car somewhere, or if you get lucky like I did and you found this antenna with this gray plug, because you will need this. And so on my car, this is the driver door module right here. And there is no gray plug in these 2007s, the other end of it. So what you're going to have to do is I found one, a whole harness kit, basically this whole driver door harness kit on eBay. Um, I think it was out of a, a Lincoln Town car. Uh, I think like a 08 or something, 06 or 08, somewhere in there. So I tried to make sure I keep it all around the same year model so it didn't have any issues. And because uh, these plugs, these gray plugs here are different. They are not the same. So uh, just make sure the if you the wires all match up, you know. it's They're, they're going to be kind of slightly faded in different colors, but um, they do work. Um, I, I'll show you all here in a minute. So that is the important piece you do need uh, and make sure you get those gray plugs because you will need those. Those are very, very important. And I have yet to find any uh, replacements or just, you know, spares you can just buy. Uh, you'll have to, might have to actually go find a junk car or something or get lucky enough on eBay. So for the remote uh, trunk pop, so these Crown Vicks, they did not, where this pink wire is is where uh, the remote trunk pop is. So, bear with me. You see where it's at? It's right next to those two white wires with the blue lines and then directly above that black wire. So, what I did is my Lincoln Town Car harness um, that I got, I robbed the pin and this wire out of that Lincoln Town Car harness and it actually just, uh, I made sure to carefully remove it. Um, and it was actually able just to slid right back in into this harness or this connector here and uh, with no issues. It, it clicked in and it's held in good. And what you're going to want to do is, so this is your trunk pop right here, okay? It's, it's for, you can add a trunk pop switch for your door panel if you want. I just left mine regular roll on the center console or uh, middle of the dash. So I'm not really worried, but this wire that you have here, you want to tap into this purple wire with the yellow line. 
and this will enable remote trunk pop. So, there you go, antenna. The uh, trunk pops enabled. I'll give you a real quick show you here. Lock, unlock. So lock, unlock works. I'll do the trunk pop while we're at it. Looky there. Awesome stuff. Works just like it's supposed to. All right, guys. One more thing that I left out of the original video and um, I already got the car button back up. Uh, so I'm not going to pull it back apart and refilm the whole thing. But the last thing you will need to do once completing all this on a 2007 um, or what, doing hardwire for the trunk pop on an 08 through 11 is you will need to get the laptop or a computer of some sort and download the Forescan software. Uh, you will need the extended license, not the basic. I tried using the basic license and Forescan automatically started screaming at me whenever I tried to program the driver door module because it apparently needs the extended license. Uh, good thing is it's free. Uh, and you get two months of it, two minutes of that extended license free of charge, no no big deal. So you need that. Of course, some computer downloaded on and one of these guys, the uh, one of these OB Link EX, they worked pretty good. Make you down, I think they're like 25, 30 bucks. It was nothing super expensive. Bought on Amazon, got it here in a couple days. Uh, like I said, they it worked just fine. It made you download some software for it, for like a driver uh, software, but and also made you download some stuff for an application for it. But you do not need the application for it as long as you have Forescan. So just make sure you got that. And uh, there's plenty of other videos on online for 08 through 11s. It's the same thing for the 2007 as far as programming the driver door module. Uh, you change one number. Um, like line eight for the driver door module uh, hex code. So uh, I'll, like I said, there's plenty of videos on uh, YouTube already for that. So I'll let y'all dive into that and figure it out. But that will be all you need to get that done, aside from what I already showed y'all in the original video. So, all right, guys and gals, thank y'all very much for watching. If there's anything else y'all want to see, this or whatever just leave me some comments and i'll uh see what i can do for y'all anyway thanks for watching